Women now make up a majority of college graduates. Right? Yes. You know that. And that <laughs> continues to grow a pace so that, like, you know, people, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to shift it personally with three boys and one girl, but, yeah, it's like, it's it, it, the, if you keep the run rate going, it's going to get to 52, 53% women graduating from college. And, you know, college aviation programs basically have no female presence. Right? Well, I mean, no, they are. Yeah, I mean, the stats are. So, it's actually higher. No, oh, but is that, is, that, is that a concern? I mean, maybe it's that the women don't want to be away from home. <laughs> well, maybe, but I mean, it, well, it is a concern from a concern. Well, well, I would say as a businessman, the concern is you basically are saying that there's a market that's growing and you haven't figured out a way to niche yourself. Yeah, you're losing 50% of the market. Yeah. That's a and what's that, when, when most of your programs, well, I know, when all your programs were created, 98% of the, you know, or at that time it was probably about 70% of the college graduates were male. So the reality is, you know, right now, and the available pool is, yeah, the available and pool is, is shrunk in half. There's this other available pool out there. What is it that you guys could do to help? And this is probably where you could help, you know, to this idea of working with industry. I don't think the airlines have any idea about this. foundations out there, there are opportunities out there that are like desperate to try to get women into STEM. Right? I mean that's like uh, at least again I, I come to hire as, as like, even though I have, I have a deep passion for hire I've written histories on it, but you have to think about it as a business. And so where's where's the money? Right? Well the money is women in staff is one of those areas where there's money going begging. And it strikes me that this is an opportunity again I don't know, maybe and again it's easier to get the money collected. Right? So maybe it's UAA or something like that to say, like, look, we'll, you know, we want a five-year commitment to do these kinds of scholarships. It's just one of the things that struck me looking at the data. Right, but that's actually, a, I mean, not to get too detailed, but I mean, the challenge there is, A, there's fewer dollars, and B, more competition in a sense, because it's a larger pool. You got everybody from the large investment banks to the strat houses to law firms competing for that pool. The interesting thing about the women component is they're becoming the majority of college graduates, right? So there's going to be more college graduates out there who are women who are looking for a job. And the interesting thing is they will have all been steered in ways that aren't necessarily towards STEM and toward, and if aviation could position themselves as that, you know, because, I mean, the problem with the, all these efforts, because my family's been involved with the HBCU and a variety of other things, that's a, that's a shrinking population, right? Or if not shrinking, flat and ever more competitive, right? I mean, the, the amount of dollars that are going at pursuing sort of traditionally disadvantaged um, ethnicities in professions, that, whereas the women, the number of women in college continues to just grow on a baby, right? I mean, and again, no one has quite figured out why we in the U.S. are having more daughters. This and to put it in a... One is it would be more collective versus individual. That's right. right? That's exactly right. It would be more, um, it would actually have a longer tenure. Like more longer time cycle. I mean, there's, I mean, this more is social. Yeah, more social. It's fairly controversial research, but it's more social, more collective, and actually longer time horizon. And this is going to sound horrible, but the studies show that, yeah, you know, like the women tend to, you know, like women have tended to succeed at high at a better rate and have a longer sort of commitment to longer term courses, year long courses, for example, versus semester, trimester. Like there, there is a very direct correlation. Institutions on trimesters tend to have a higher, like their male female split, that's so, much higher male. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, the, the very short courses, but very quick, and then turn around, women do not tend to do It's one reason why Georgia Tech suffered, right? They, I mean, Georgia Tech's like astonished because they have all these mini courses, like 88% male.
right? And part of the reason. Colorado they're, College is, but I don't know what they're testing. Well, but they have a 414, right? So, but I, I think longer courses, more collective. I mean, longer courses are more collective. I mean, I don't know if anyone's done that. Like, I don't know if you do. I mean, because to be honest, I think it's hard in any discipline to do, you know, team grades, right? But that tends to be what the research. Right. Is.